we're going to replicate this design right here. So don't worry, I've had both my shots and my booster. And then this one right here, which is just, I'm thinking. Now these both popped up relatively high on Amazon search results under funny shirt. Uh, again, I'm not doing any special product research here. This is just an example of how you can find designs that are hot selling, right? And then once you find those hot selling designs that obviously have demand on, on Etsy, but don't necessarily have the competition there, then you can go ahead and create a similar design. You don't want to copy it, you know, exactly. Okay. You don't want to copy it exactly, but once you create a similar design, put your own spin on it, then you put it up on Etsy with improved SEO and an improved listing. And then it just sits there and potentially earns sales for you. And it doesn't cost you any money minus the 20 cents to create the listing. Typically when you find a design that looks promising, what you want to do is you want to take it to an incognito browser on Etsy. So we're just going to pull up a different browser. We're going to go to Etsy.com or you can just go incognito on your normal browser and you wanna go like, I'm thinking. So this is clearly gonna be, because that's what the, the design was, right? Like I'm thinking. So you wanna go as broad as possible and see what other designs are up there. See if it's a, a flooded marketplace for that type of design. See if there's a lot of oversaturation on that design already. And if that is the case, then you don't wanna create that design. Ideally, you're looking for something that's selling well already on Etsy or selling well on another platform where there's not a lot of competition on Etsy and that's where you wanna get in. Again, don't copy because that's where you're gonna run into like IP complaints, especially don't copy like any brands as well. Like even if you see a good design, like common sense should tell you stay away from like top brands, right? Like you're not trying to replicate like the Adidas logo. You're not trying to replicate the Disney or the Star Wars logo, right? You're not trying to, uh, I actually got a copyright strike one time um, or it was like an intellectual property strike one time on Etsy for creating like half of the Target logo. Don't do that, okay? If, as long as you're not doing that, as long as you're not copying someone's design exactly and you're putting your own spin on designs, you should be fine. This isn't like an, uh, an in-demand product with a lot less competition where it's something that you want to go after. As you can see here, there's clearly a lot of people already selling design just like this. So this is an example of a product that you wouldn't want to go after. But let's, in this specific case, let's just assume that this isn't a product like this just for the sake of showing you an example of how to actually go ahead and create the listing, right? So we want to go ahead and replicate a listing like that and then put our own spin on it you can use like i said canva which is a a free website that anybody can use or you can go ahead and use adobe photoshop all right so we're going to create an adobe photoshop uh, design right here you want custom uh dimensions of 4500 by 5400 for a t-shirt those are the best uh dimensions for a specific t-shirt so i would just go to google and type in like i'm thinking and find like a logo like that or maybe like a loading logo like waiting to load or something like that or you can even go to other websites like pexels or pixabay or any other website that offers uh royalty free and pictures so i already actually have a slight logo here and for this example right here in this first one, we're just going to create a white t-shirt because everybody else has a black t-shirt, as you can see with the I'm thinking. So instead, I'm just going to create a white t-shirt. And in the next example, we're going to create a multicolored t-shirt. So I'm going to show you how to actually create a PNG design that you can put on top of any color. But for this example, the first one, we're just going to go white. So we're going to file open because I already grabbed a loading logo logo right here, as you can see. So there we have the loading logo. I dragged it out a little bit. Now we need to put something else below. And there you go. So now we're done the design. I literally just put my own spin on it. Granted, this is not my best design at all, but I'm just, you know, trying to show you and give you ideas to get you thinking of how you can create your own designs as well. And you'd be surprised, like sometimes, like when I first started this and I was creating a bunch of designs, like super quickly, some of the designs, like I would put like literally like 30 minutes to 45 minutes in creating this really in-depth, cool looking design and spend a lot of time on it, tweaking everything, finding good pictures, cropping them out, like doing everything and it would never sell. And some designs literally were just words on an actual sheet and I uploaded them to a t-shirt and those would get traction. So just keep that in mind. Sometimes even stupid designs might sell. Now that we have this design and keep in mind, this is just a white t-shirt. What we're gonna do is we're gonna save it. Always save all your designs in a folder so you can go back and show Etsy that you actually did design them if they ever ask, okay? Now the next thing you wanna do is you wanna go to uh, Printful. Now Printful is a website that like I said in the beginning, is going to store all your designs. They're also gonna store all your products because you can connect Printful to the back end of Etsy. There are other YouTube videos out there that show that and how to do that uh, super easily. 
And so once you're actually connected to Etsy, which is very easy to do, then you can go through all the printful uh, templates and then upload your design to whatever template you wanted. So I could put, I could upload this to a stainless steel water bottle if I wanted. I could put this on a mug. I could put this on a phone case. I could put this on all the above. In this specific example, we're just going to go through and we're going to put this on a t-shirt. So we're going to go to t-shirt. You can even search in the search bar shirt. And I typically go usually on the lower end so I can mark mine up a little bit, but you can obviously, you know, use your best judgment if you want to go in between. I wouldn't recommend going with like a premium one because it's really hard, especially when you're a starter and you're just getting into this to sell something at such a high markup when you don't have enough social proof and your, your products aren't ranking high enough on the platform. So I would go for one of the cheaper versions of this. Obviously this Gildan one's good. You can go this one right here, which is, um, I think this is Hanes or one of them is Hanes. Um, we're going to go Gildan because it's the cheapest one and then we'll be able to market up obviously for you know a decent percentage or we can even list it lower to get sales and rank our account and rank this actual listing and then get reviews and social proof and then as it ranks then we can imp increase the price in the future okay so also keep that in mind as well so now that we're here we want to make sure that we select all the colors and all the sizes that we want to offer so in the next next example we're going to select multiple colors and multiple sizes in this example since it's just a white design we want to select just white and then we'll select all the potential sizes as possible. And once we have it in there, there you go. You can see it right there. You can also drag this if you want it a little bit bigger. Um, typically, like a good rule of thumb is you want it to be as much of the t-shirt as possible. You don't want it to be, you know, super, super small. Although it, you also don't want it to be like wrapped around where people can't see it. And now we're going to choose our mock-ups. So you can either pick like mock-ups with people in them. And those tend to work well, especially with t-shirts because people want to envision themselves wearing the t-shirt. And so if you're using a mock-up of somebody actually wearing the t-shirt, they can kind of picture what it looks like on themselves as well. So that's a good hack for t-shirts. So now the product title. So now one of the ways that you want to go about doing this is you want to go back and find one of these that are ranking super high and then grab a lot of the SEO. Again, you don't want to copy, but you do want to get a lot of the SEO that's working for them because that's ranking them high. Also, you want to keep in mind what their price points are, like everybody that's ranked relatively high because you want to offer something similar to them. If you go higher than them, chances are you're not going to sell very many, right? If you go a lot lower than them, chances are you won't make a lot of money, but that's fine initially. One of the best ways that I've found to sell products on Etsy is especially before your listing is ranked and before your seller account is ranked, you want to offer products at lower prices prices, even if your margins razor thin or like a dollar or two, because you're still profitable at that point, but other people aren't willing to take that low of profit. You can get those sales, those reviews on your store and get some social proof. And then as you get more and more sales, you can increase your price later because you're already ranked on that listing and you already have social proof on your seller profile. All right. And then as soon as you hit proceed, it's going to publish your product to your Etsy store as a draft. Then you just want to go into your Etsy store. Again, your Etsy store should be connected to Printful. Just watch a, a video on that. There's videos all over YouTube on that. It's very, very easy to do. And then you just want to make it active because it's in draft mode currently. All right. And that's how you create a listing for Etsy. So let's do one more really, really fast. We're going to do this. Don't worry. I've had both my shots and my booster. So I have a picture here with just a shot dropping into a beer that I think is funny. And we're going to cartoonize this to make it very, very similar to this picture right here that it's kind of cartoonized and logoed. And we're going to see what it kind of looks like. So one of my favorite ways to cartoonize a picture is to use BeFunky.com. Now you can start a free trial here. You can obviously pay for this, or you can just take a screenshot after you're done for free. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I already downloaded that picture. I'm going to upload the picture in here, and then I'm going to cartoonize it and see what it looks like. And bam, there we go. So granted, this isn't the best one. I'd find a better one, but for the sake of showing you guys in this example, we're going to take a screenshot of this cartoonized thing. And now we've literally created our own picture. Now with Photoshop, like I said, in this example, what we're going to do is we're going to put this on different color uh, shirts, not just white background for this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the background and we're going to put this on multiple color shirts, not just white. All right. So what do they say here? They said, don't worry. I've had both my shots and my booster. So I'm going to put a spin on that and do kind of my own design. <laughs> All 
All right, there we go. Now we have the design, right? So you can see, I literally just cartoonized the one picture that's very similar. And then I wrote, don't worry, I've had my shot and booster. Very similar, but I put my own spin on it. We'll drop our design in there. And now, as you can see, it's PNG. So it overlays on pretty much any color. It doesn't look that great in white, but it probably looks good on other ones. So show, I'll show you it on black. And that looks very similar, it, literally with a cartoonized design, as this person has right here, just my own spin on it. Very, very similar, right? We're going to take white off and we're going to choose all the other co variation colors so people can choose whatever color they want. Again, you want the mock-up of somebody wearing the actual shirt because that's what's going to sell the best with a t-shirt. People want to envision themselves wearing it. Then we're going to set our price. So obviously you'd want to do some research on Etsy. I'm just going to set this price for this one at $19.95 for right now. And there you go. Now it's going to list it to Printful, which then is going to in turn list it to Etsy. And as soon as it's done loading here, it's going to then be in my Etsy store, but as a draft. So I need to go back to my Etsy store and activate it on my Etsy store. And then it's live on Etsy and Etsy will charge me 20 cents to activate the design. And that's how easy it is to drop ship print on demand t-shirts on Etsy. So again, the formula is find something that you think is cool or something that you think is selling well on the platform, then go to Etsy, do a broad keyword search for as something as something as broad as possible on that. Do a little bit of research, see if there's demand on the platform, but not potentially a lot of competition. If that is the case, then go ahead and create the design, right? Don't copy the design, do something very, very similar and put your own spin on it. And that's that when you obviously want to upload that design to Printful, who's going to take care of everything for you after the fact so that when you get a sale on that product, they're going to print the design on the t-shirt, ship it out to the customer for you, and then mark it tracked with the actual tracking number in Etsy. So you don't have to do anything after the fact. You're just finding hot designs, designing them, uploading them to Printful, activating them on Etsy, and that's how easy it is. So